Ian Shedden, a drummer with the seminal Australian punk band The Saints, has died aged 60. The Scots Burn musician has been the Sydney-based music writer for the Australian newspaper since 1998. Music writer Ian Shedden spent nine years with the Saints. Photo ABC Shedden worked for the Murdoch Broadsheet for almost 25 years, first as a sub-editor before taking over as music writer. Editor and chief Paul Whitaker paid tribute to our much-loved and respected colleague who was a close friend to many, many people on the paper. He was as brilliant a friend as he was a journalist and will be deeply missed. He had been treated for throat cancer some years ago and was undergoing additional treatment when he died suddenly on Monday. Shedden started his first band, The Jolt, with two friends, Robbie Collins and Jim Doak while working as a junior reporter on his hometown paper, The Wishaw Daily Record in 1976. The Jolt caught the early swell of punk music and moved to London to sign with Polydor Records. In the snotty grotty world of punk they opened for various big names including The Jam, Generation X and The Motors as well as an unknown Brisbane band doing the rounds of the London punk scene, The Saints. When the Jolt split in 1979 Shedden joined London band The Small Hours, which featured the Saints' second bass player Kim Bradshaw. Then in 1981 the Saints singer Chris Bailey, by then a close friend, asked him to join the new lineup and he spent nine years intermittently touring the world and recording with them. Shedden moved to Sydney in 1992 and returned to journalism while continuing to perform regularly with various bands, including Reg Mombass's Dog Trumpet. Shedden wrote a memoir piece circuit 1998 for the Australian on his life in punk rock. Touring the fleet bats of northern Europe through rain and snow has its charms the cultures change even if the weather dose and, he wrote. But playing in a country, sometimes for up to three months, where each day was as hot and sunny as the last, was, to this particularly pale Scott, too good an opportunity to pass up. What else were you supposed to do all day? Now it's tough financially for even established Australian bands to tour, he wrote, and visiting acts rarely step beyond the city centres. The 80s was a boom time for Australian rock music and, for some of us, the sun shone every day. His 2010 collaboration with music industry promoter Michael Chug, Hey, You in the Black T-Shirt The Real Story of Touring the World's Biggest Acts captured a particular moment in music history from the perspective of two insiders. AAP Entertainment writer Danielle McGrain recalls Shedden giving her a copy of the book when she first started writing music in Australia. He said it would help me understand the music culture. Few journalists are that kind, she said. Shedden is survived by his wife Christine, and their children Molly, 18, and Connor, 16.